The downfall of MS Office began when Microsoft started charging its users for almost every function in its suite. Now you can only view the files and if you want to edit, pay them $70 yearly. You can also use it on the web for free but it's laggy and not a pleasant experience. This led to the rise of other Office suits, softwares like LibreOffice, Google Workspace, Apple iWork and OpenOffice. While every software has its own plus point, they are not all-rounders like MS Office. Some are more expensive and some are limited, with just one exception, the WPS Office. This software offers you an ecosystem similar to MS Office Suite. The story behind trying this software is that I was setting up my laptop and I needed to work on sheets and docs but there was no office in this laptop and to be honest I didn't want to screw this laptop by installing any sort of pirated Microsoft Office. I have heard of WPS before but never tried it myself. Some of my team members were using it on their personal laptops so for the time being I installed the app. Using it for the first time felt like home it was pretty similar to Microsoft Office. So in this video, I will share my experience and we are going to see if you should get this or try and pay for MS Office. The biggest surprise is that the whole Office suit is free. They also offer a paid subscription that unlocks everything, which we will discuss later. Also, if you would like to check it out, then you can do so from the link in the description where you might find some discounts on the paid plans. The free version offers a complete suit that has all of the essential programs that we use in our day-to-day -day life in MS Office. It has Writer which functions like MS Word, Spreadsheets which functions like MS Excel, PPT which functions as MS PowerPoint, and a PDF software and one more software named as AirPage. AirPage is their new document collaboration tool with AI integration. The free version has a lot of features to offer. For starters, the user interface is immaculate. WPS opens like a web browser and lets you open different tabs in itself, keeping the clutter to a minimum. You can open spreadsheets in one tab, Word in the next, and AirPage in the other. And you can even create workspaces from the top right and segregate different types of work. That reduces the clutter to even further. Unlike the hefty MS Office, WPS Office is quite lightweight. If you had problems running Excel and Word on your old computer, you won't face those problems with WPS Office, which means that even your potato PC can run it without any problems. Talking about the formats, it was able to open all my Microsoft Office formats like Doc, Docs, XLS, EPS, etc. without making my files look like scrambled egg. Preserving from the Excel formulas to PPT animations, it kept the files intact and functional. In fact, I checked on their website and it supports 47 document formats. Impressive. Also, it has its own WPS native format for some reason too. The app is available on Windows, Mac, Linux, and even for both Android and iOS. It also supports 46 languages on the phone and 13 languages on a computer. If you want to unlock even more features, then what you can do is create an account and it will give you access to 1 GB of cloud storage, syncing files between all your devices, convert files to PDF, and expand the already extensive template library. I would say that the library is quite extensive and there are all types of templates for Word, Excel, PPT and PDF. That's a lot for free. I would say it's worth giving a shot. The only thing you will encounter is some pop-up ads, but I think that's okay. At least it didn't pop up when I was working on my document. If you are interested in the pro version, here are some of the key features of a paid subscription. Editing and converting PDFs become an option in the paid version. You can use it on 9 devices including 3 PCs and 6 mobile devices. They remove all the ads so that is a good thing and also gives you 20 GB of cloud storage. While it is less than 60 GB of MS Office suit, but honestly 20 GB is more than enough at this price point. There are a lot of options that I can't mention because that will make the video very long. But some honorable mentions, you can encrypt and watermark your PDFs and record your screen. Talking about the only downside I found in this app is that you cannot upload images higher than 200 dpi, which may cause you a problem if you need crisp images. The results are still not bad, but they are completely usable. But I think most people will not be bothered by this other than pixel beepers in a presentation. 
If you are someone who uses the Office Suite for normal tasks and day-to-day -day sheet tasks, even the standard version of WPS Office should be more than enough for you. And even if you are willing to shed some money, then pricing is just $18 per year, which is three times less than the Office. Now those were all the prominent things that I wanted to share with you. If you ask me whether I suggest this app or not and to whom, then I would say that it is a great app in my opinion. I didn't feel like I was getting some sort of free trash and that is hard to use and does nothing. In fact, the experience was quite intuitive and it felt more or less like using MS Office. Though it did took me a couple of minutes to get used to it, after that it was all a breeze. There were only few times when I did click on something that required me to upgrade to paid version but nothing that hindered the progress. If you are a student or someone looking to get MS Office, then I would definitely recommend this to you. It's up to you if you want the paid version or not. Even if you stick with the free version, it would do the job very well. But if you are someone who makes a lot of presentations, you want to use the software to its full potential, then you can spend $18 and enjoy your life. You can check it out from the description below and see if you like it. And that's it for today. If you are looking for a cloud storage service, then you can watch this video right here. And if you are in a search for an app to clean your Mac, then there you go. Like, share, subscribe, stay safe. Bye-bye.